Oh no, more problem for Ashiwaju Ahmed Bola Tinubu as more calls arises for him to resign. Initially, it was an APC chieftain who says, Tinubu, please resign. Okay, save us from this embarrassment. Apparently, the call is, the numbers is increasing, calling for Ashiwaju Ahmed Bola Tinubu to resign to save us from the international embarrassment that this man is causing us. I mean, the president of the Federal Republic of Nigeria, the person of Ashiwaju Ahmed Bola Tinubu, with regards to his certificate saga and all that is currently on ground. Another body has called for Ashiwaju to resign immediately to save Nigeria from the current dispensation of the embarrassment already ongoing. You should resign, please, honorably. Save Nigeria from the embarrassment. Nadeko slammed Tinubu as small calls call for the president to resign. President Bola Ahmed Tinubu has continued to have more calls coming for his resignation honorably. The Union State Chapter of the National Democratic Coalition, Nadeko, has called for the President of the Federal Republic of Nigeria to resign honorably before more embarrassment is released on the country. Late Nigeria reports that the, the group gave the advice on a statement issued on Monday, September the 25th, 2023, while reacting to the controversies surrounding the academic record of the president. Nadeko stated that the controversies has caused the Chicago State University to find itself on the paradox of trying to explain itself and credibility dwelling low, titting on the blank of losing international credibility and accreditation over this Tinubu's issue as he continues to block the university using privacy status to prevent his, re his result from being released. The group also condemned the present economic challenge, social economic challenge, Tinubu's government failed policies brought upon Nigerians, asking him to resign and save the country from the impending danger he's wedding on the nation. The statement reads, Nigeria is in a terrible situation in the deep of international image being destroyed, domestic and regional crisis bleeding profusely, and both national and international stage, everyone is watching Nigeria watch their dirty linen in the open over the president's refusal to let the world see his academic record. This is no longer a private, private property since you decided to become the president of a country. Presently, in a dollar, is, a dollar is no longer worth anything in Nigeria as Nigeria currently exchange rate has dropped significantly. People are suffering and the issue has gone beyond we can imagine. This is because we have no government who is causing proper regulation for things to go well for the people. It is very unfortunate that these things are happening and yet the president is looking for ways to keep his credibility and hiding who he really is. You are making Nigerians to be more suspicious. Tinubu unwaving policy of questionable presidency has continued to put Nigeria in a bad light. You left the country looking for investors. Who will invest in an unsure situation unless such a man has a wish to throw his money away? All you are working for is currently being thrown into the dust unless you do something immediately to save the situation. Please, we call on you in the name of God to rescue Nigeria from the current clause of this questionable ambition that you seek at all costs. Free Nigeria, resign honorably so that the words can stop and the country can move forward. So this is Nadeko. And Nadeko has released a statement over President Bola Ahmed Tinubu saying the issue is serious. We see what is going on and we are not happy. In the international stage, we are like a laughing stock. People are wondering and asking themselves what is going on in Nigeria because of the president's questionable disposition towards his academic record. In fact, the new, the new move now is that it's going and it's telling the United States government to prevail on the, on the you know, to prevail you know, on, uh, on, they should prevail on, uh, on the court. It's not Nigeria that the president can call somebody 
and ask the person to, you know, please moan a soft pedal. It, it doesn't work that way. It is wrong. Very wrong. And we all just need to know that we cannot continue with the same thing over and over again and expect a different result. It does not work that way. Sadly, this is what is happening. This is what is going on. And um, Nigerians just need to wake up to the honest fact that something is seriously not right. And if we want this nation to be taken seriously, we will need to, we will need to belt up. You know, we will need to belt up. We need to rise up and make sure that we belt up our seat belts and, and appear serious. If you want to be taken seriously, you yourself will have to be, you know, you have to show that you are also serious. You know, you want to be taken seriously, you need to take some steps as well. So this is what is happening. This is what is going on. And every single person is beginning to ask themselves very serious questions. How did we get here? In the first instance, how did we get here? And how can we solve this situation that Tinubu has mended on us as a nation? Internationally, credibility, hmm, God have mercy. God have mercy. And if really there are discrepancies within Tinubu's certificate, I would personally want to blame, want to blame his wife. For, I'm not saying totally. I want to blame his wife. That, uh -uh, Madam, but you know all these things now. Why didn't you advise your husband? Did you guys think that you could cover it up? This is me who's speaking. That that's what I want to tell the wife. That's what I would like to tell the wife. However, the matter is not yet proven. So until proven, we're not going to, we're not going to make conclusions yet. Okay? And they said you are not guilty until proven guilty. So I want to, you know, I want to, I want to stay in that area. I don't want to, you know, overstep my bound so that uh, we wait patiently and see what will come up with this article's fight. Anyway, the result is in the open, but Supreme Court has told Atiku that Atiku should that Atiku cannot come to court with the result with the with Tinubu's result in circulation, that he will have to go and bring the original. So that's why Tinubu is fighting seriously to ensure that the original of this uh, result is revealed for all to see. Well, my lovely people, it is what it is. We'd we'll love to hear from you. Please don't forget to give us a thumbs up. Like us, share, subscribe. Click on the notification button so you can get all our latest news. Remember, you have a voice. Yes, God bless. Have a fantastic and a lovely day. We must continue to speak out to end every abnormality. God bless. Bye for now. Bye-bye.